Hello, my name is Bogdan Litesko. I'm owner at DNN Sharp. In this video, I'll show you how to execute some simple actions when the form is submitted in action form. So, I will start by adding a new action form module to the page, which you probably already know how to do. Add module. Right now, it will say that it's not configured, so I'll go into manage screen. And you can just save that because all the settings will be initialized with default values that uh, will look like this form. So I already have a form, but I'm not happy with that because I want something simple. Uh, so I don't have to fill in required data and so on. So I just keep the company fields, which I will check that is also op optional. So I'll just delete the rest. Okay. So now I have a, a form with only one field that is optional. In the resource action screen, here you can define what actions to execute when the form is submitted. There are uh, more generic actions like uh, a redirection or a confirmation message, but there are more uh, specialized actions too, like uh, ability to log in user, to register new user, to update user profile, to grant or revoke roles, and this list will probably go a lot in the future. Your your feature requests are also welcome new actions. Okay, so first thing, first step that, uh, first thing that will be displayed is the confirmation message. So right now, uh, this order is inverse, so it says for the redirection and then uh, the confirmation, but on the screen actually the, this message is shown first, and when you click a continue button, it will take you to this, uh, to the redirection URL. Let's, let me save that and just uh, prove the default values. So I'll, I'll go in with another browser where I'm not logged in. I've refreshed the form page and I see the company field which is optional. So when I submit this field, you'll see the confirmation message along with a continue button. The confirmation message can also be, con be customized. So here I can uh, write uh, Thank you for submitting your company. And also you can try and delete the continue button, but you'll notice it, it won't get it. So you can just write the message here. I'll save that. Now I will go back to the form and I'll submit, the, I'll submit it again. You'll see, thank you for submitting your company. But the continue button is still there, even though I deleted it. So action form will always append the continue button, which will link to the act to the redirect action. This is important. You some user ask uh, but if I want to show uh, uh, only the confirmation message without uh, the button what do I do? The answer is very simple. You don't have to handle this through action form so you would go here, you would uh, remove the confirmation message and you would just say go to this page. And this could be a text page where you say thank you for submitting your form and so on. So this takes us to to this uh, to the redirect action. So what this basically means is what happens after the form is submitted. By default, you saw it was uh, keep on current page, which simply refreshes the uh, the current page and resets it to to the initial state where the form is visible and empty and ready to, to be filled in. But uh, let's say that you want to redirect to a portal page. You just select portal page and you will see a drop down with, with all the pages that you have on the portal. So if I say I want to go to the home page, I will save this. I will go back as a non logged in user. I refresh this and I just submit the form. It will show me the confirmation message and when I click continue I'm taking to the home page. This is the home page is not obvious that it is, but it is. So I'll go back to form 1 and uh, let me also show to you the default default action. So I'll just take out the confirmation message because I don't uh, want to, to demonstrate it anymore. And I'll just uh, show you the actions. The keep on current page actions simply, simply when I submit the form, it would submit to the page, but then reload it so it appears uh, also, uh, again in the initial state. 
there are uh, there are more more actions to try there is also ability to redirect to a new URL and here you can input any URL for example I can say go to dnnsharp.com so when I save this I go back as a non logged in user I refresh the page my company and I submit this and I'll be redirected to dnnsharp.com you see Let's go back to the manage screen. Uh, this protocol drawdown is very important because here you can choose uh, from HTTP or HTTPS or FTP or other. Other is very important to know. This will simply appear nothing. So if you want, uh, for example, if I put other, I would have to put my own protocol here, which you see when I type, it will automatically change to HTTP. This, this is important because uh, many people just forget us and just, rad, uh, just write uh, www.dnn sharp and forget to put HTTPS but this uh, will, uh, will enforce for example if I put HTTPS you see it changes to HTTPS so this will enforce the correct protocol but if you want for example let's say you want um, to redirect to, to some file from your portal using a relative URL then you just, uh, or let's say that the file is in a, in a folder called uh, uh, my files in the root of the website, my files. Okay. Now, if you put uh, this, it will say HTTPS uh, my files some file that PDF, which obviously is not a valid URL. So you have to put other, which will simply append nothing, and this will be a relative URL, and it will be resolved by action form uh, at runtime. To the appropriate file. But uh, one thing, uh, one thing to make sure is that this file uh, is uh, configured to give uh, to for the user to have access. For example, if you put here some, uh, I don't know, let's say web.config, this will not uh, IAS will, will prevent access to this file. So you have to know this. Um, you can also um, redirect to pages on the portal and you can also redirect to files on the portals. This will show all the files that are located in the current portal home directory. Uh, you will notice uh, I only have two files but uh, probably the first one on download because uh, the that template file extension is probably blocked by, by um, IIS. But uh, I will try the um, the X, the XML which I don't think it should be blocked. Okay, so now I uh, I instructed action form to redirect to this XML. I can also uh, choose to force download of that file. So instead of trying to open it in the browser, it will pop up. Uh, it will pop up the download dialog. So I can save it on my uh, on my laptop and see it later. Uh, let's try both options. So now I don't have to force action. I will go back. I will refresh the form, and I will submit it. You see, I'm redirected to to the XML file, and I see it inside the browser. Right now, uh, I will sh I will go back and uh, enable the force download option for download. I will save this. I will refresh the page here. And I will submit it again. Now you see, it will uh, ask me to to save the download file, to save the, the to download the file. Okay, let's go back to the manage form. This is uh, pretty much all the all the redirection action we support now. Uh, in next version, you'll see new redirection action here. For example, uh, we've been asked about ability to post the form to a different URL. Just post. There's a post action in tracking, but this will post from the server side. Uh, what this new option is to do is post from the client side, so the browser post to that page, and we give a, a, a control to other uh, other uh, uh, sites. So this is everything about these first two actions, which are uh, you see are very simple and powerful to get you to get your forms working the way you want. Thank you for your attention.